Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we have the Triple Elixir Challenge going on, and if you missed it yesterday, we did our live stream. Was not able to clutch the nine wins, of course, because live I don't do as good as, you know, when I'm just playing on my couch, up in my bedroom, or wherever, you know. So, it is what it is. I'm sure if you guys tried the same thing, it's just tougher. I mean, I know there's pros out there that can do it, but clearly I'm not a pro. Anyway, right after that, went ahead, switched decks up, and was able to get the nine wins. And I'm going to show you this deck that I did it with because it's absolutely hilarious. You guys are going to love this. And I think that it's a deck that pretty much anybody can use. And so it's a deck that's fun. It's pretty aggressive, and it's just something that's pretty cool. We're going to open up this chest here in just a minute. Uh, let me show you those replays first, and then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, the deck... Obviously features the Lava Hound. You can kind of see the log there. Uh, actually, pretty solid streak since I started. I think that's the first one right there. So, one, a uh, couple two in a row, and then I lost one, and then I just won seven in a row with it. So, pretty freaking awesome. Pretty excited about it. Let's go ahead. We're going to watch this match right here because it's pretty insane. I uh, love the new arena, by the way. The new arena is killer. Definitely my favorite arena to play on just because of the colors. It kind of reminds me of, um, what's that show called? Gosh dang it. Uh, what is that show called? With uh, Johnny Depp. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, love the colors. <laughs> Pretty sweet. So I go ahead, I'm going to lightning here. So this deck has uh, Hound and Balloon. So the main thing that you're going to want to do there, here is you drop your hound in the back and then you drop the balloon right behind it and then hopefully you're going to be able to get a clone spell up there and just toast their tower. Now I'm showing you this one because it was a little bit different. He, he had tons of buildings, he had a couple inferno dragons and he was always spamming those furnaces. So this is the one match that I'm not able to actually drop some crazy clone spells like I'll show you in the next couple matches. But this match was a little bit crazier because he had the princess, he had the arrows and he was always able to take out my pups or my minions which created a little bit of a problem because the minions were actually great support I think his biggest problem his biggest detriment was he started to rocket cycle too early in the game and so I think that really cost him elixir and he wasn't able to get enough elixir built up to actually stop my pushes because my pushes just ended up getting so massive here um, because you know triple elixir so he does have tornado as well and you'll notice with all these decks that I'm playing against, they all have Tornado, which is a huge counter to Lava Hound, so absolutely insane. So am able to get the Lava Hound there, takes out the uh, Inferno Dragon. So this is a key push right here, the Balloon. Able to get that Tombstone out of the way, and so I am able to get the Lava Hound snuck in there, because he was blocking it in pretty much every other time. But we got the Lava Hound in there full health against the Furnace, and so the Balloon comes in full health as well. Able to go take a smack down. Now he brings everything else over into the center. But his princess. Whoa! Okay. I remember that. So his princess and everything else is kind of locked on my lava hound. But did you see those two little minions doing work to that tower? Just because he wasn't able to stop everything. So just a couple minions took out that entire push basically. Then the tornado missed the balloon there. That was a huge mistake on his part. He obviously wanted it, so he had to drop a key furnace, which did stop the balloon for a second. I have no idea why the balloon didn't go for that tombstone. Very sad moment in in Rasaul's life. Very sad moment. But he did go ahead and he kept on rocket cycling. But once you get a tower down, you can actually throw the Lava Hound for defense. Basically, just throw the Lava Hound in there and it kind of like goes up there and everything. If he has air support, then he goes ahead and attacks the Lava Hound. So the key component, obviously, being that you have air troops and a lot of people in this challenge are not throwing the air troops out there. So if you take your only air troop, lumber them in there, all their air troops are going to be used up. Check this out. <laughs> I think we would have taken that tower. But all his air troops would be lumped up on that Lava Hound and not doing anything to you. So that's anyway. We took out Rasul. Pretty sweet win there. The next ones are a little bit shorter, I think. Um, we're going to watch those because they're pretty sweet too. This one has a giant skeleton and, of course, tornado. Um, he does have the Goblin Barrel. And this one I thought I 100% lost. So I already had almost given up. So he goes Goblin Barrel up on me, which is cool makes sense so he's able to get a lot of chip damage right off the start there which was very unfortunate I'm sitting here full elixir which I did like half the challenge I don't know if you guys do the same thing but I'm always sitting at full elixir on that 3x challenge because I don't know anyway so that tower I'm like oh shiz 
basically took the whole flipping team out. Whole team. Whole thing out on me. And then he has his giant skeleton, his minion horde up on my lava hound. I'm just sitting there like, do I just give up right here? You see me sitting at full elixir, so I go other lane. I'm like, whatever. I'll do what I do. That tower is completely gone. I drop the balloon. I just basically sacrifice that tower. I'm like, dude, whatever. And then he starts going right here. He goes to king tower, which huge mistake okay so he goes king tower I'm able to clone the balloon and the lava hound take that tower down so we basically traded towers he gets my king tower all the way down to 1400 which I'm okay with throw my lava hound my balloon and my minions he has nothing so he's just sitting there like well at least I'll stop the minions with a giant skeleton so I go ahead I zap I miss one of the goblins unfortunately so I have to throw my minions down able to get up there with that little clone spell I don't know if you guys saw that little magic go down Clone spell was clutch in that situation. We did stop the giant skeleton, which was pretty sweet. Lava Hound's still up in there. He does go ahead and try to tornado everything to that giant skeleton bomb. Just did not work out. I kept on ram riding this guy. Kept on going down, putting more things down. Able to get the clone spell down. Both balloons on the tower. One of them locks down and drops a bomb. The other one drops a bomb. Take it out, dude. Biggest mistake of the game for that guy. Went for the three crown. He got cocky. And he lost it. Very unfortunate. Pretty sweet deck there. Check this one out. Okay, so this one had... Oh, whoops. Crap. I think I went the wrong one. Yep. Hold on. I'll get back in there. Don't worry, guys. So this one... Which one is it? Oh, yes. Dude, this guy got so flipping pissed. You guys are going to love this one. <coughs> so this guy actually has Executioner Nato, which with a Lava Hound and a Balloon, you know I'm pooched, right? He's got Poison for the pumps. He's got Executioner for the pups. He's got pretty much everything. So I'm dropping in here. I dropped my Lava Hound and he knows what just happened. He's like, oh, you poor little thing. He dropped your Lava Hound against my Executioner. I'm like, yo, what else? I don't care. Okay. So I went ahead. I put it down anyway. I don't know what I did there. I absolutely missed everything. I remember that. That was very specific. I missed his Executioner. It was very unfortunate. But he pulls my Mega Minion up around his, min his uh, Mega Knight. Able to take the Executioner out, which was hilarious. So I draw ahead, I drop my Lava Hound, and then I think I drop a Lightning. Nope, I don't drop a Lightning here. Okay, I missed the Clone Spell. Totally idiot. So I'm missing everything. And then we're like seven, eight wins in here. Anyway, so I totally missed the Clone Spell. I'm like, okay. So here I am doing absolutely nothing magical. Able to stop this entire push with a tombstone. I had no idea a tombstone was that clutch. Mega Knight gets one swing off, which I'm not worried about in the slightest. I drop my Mega Minion over there behind the Executioner, which ends up working out perfectly. So able to take out all the archers and, yep, take out the, the Executioner right here. Drop the balloon, fatty balloon. Uh, he drops his Mega Minion, which was a little bit of a detriment, but I go ahead and I take his archers out so that he has nothing. He pulls the balloon back, very unfortunate, but the balloon still almost gets there. I get excited and stuff. I'm like, whoa, yay, you know, but nothing happened. Very unfortunate. He gets his Mega Knight up on the tower, so that's cool. It is cool. It is good for him. So I drop a balloon again at the bridge, so this deck is super aggressive. You gotta keep pushing this thing. You gotta keep pushing it. Drop the the love hound at the bridge drop the balloon you got the minions on there the balloon is coming in he's got nothing left he has a tornado not going to do anything so he doesn't use it and then he uses a tornado which is weird i don't know what he was doing there that was a waste of a three elixir drop my lava hound on the other side i'm just going to keep the pressure on because there's no reason to let off right here so i keep the pressure on check this out so he does have 49 seconds left and so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to drop the balloon able to take both archers out because they did focus on the mega minion but he is, he does squander pretty much my entire push. I missed another clone spell there. I missed the balloon. But the balloon bomb does get to the tower, which is sweet. I'm happy with that. He throws a log, first log of the game pretty much, which I guess there's no reason to use a log on a lava balloon deck. But anyway, my minion's there. I take out two archers, two half health archers with the lightning. I'll tell you what, when triple elixir's going down, you're not thinking as quickly or clearly as you should be. Anyway, I'm just keeping the pressure on. Pretty much that's distracting him from pretty much doing anything over at this tower over here. Was not able to get the other tower down, but he was so mad because he knows he had the perfect counter to that deck and was not able to clutch it. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Anyway, so let's go back over here. Let's show you this last one because it's absolutely insane as well. Pretty dang cool. He has Executioner NATO again, okay? Executioner NATO. 
very frustrating to deal with, especially pretty much anything. Dude, always frustrating to deal with. He's got Mega Knight, he's got P.E.K.K.A., which are his big problems. It's because he has ground troops and I have all air. Didn't start out with the Lava Hound that time. I'm okay with it. Go ahead, I put my Mega Minion in the back. He thinks, well, whatever. So he puts all his crap down on one side right here, and I'm like, oh! I really thought I was pooched, so I'm like, well, we'll trade tower. So I put my balloon in the back. I go ahead and lightning, which was a horrible lightning probably, but able to take the bats out, and I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm stopping this, okay? Mega Knight gets caught up on the little uh, tombstone Frankies. I'm able to drop another tombstone to be able to distract all that, and I'm like, whoa, this is working. I should do this in real life when I actually play Clash Royale. Because I was able to stop that entire push, and I thought I was totally pooched. Full elixir, of course, that's what I said. That was my biggest mistake of the game. I dropped a Lava Hound right into his Inferno Dragon. My bad. But I'm able to take them both out, and then I still have a lot of pups alive with the Mega Minion over there to take out his tower quite a bit. You get about, I think I get, yeah, some more damage here. Get it down to about 1750, which I'm happy with. Drop another Hound in the back. He's got his P.E.K.K.A., Mini P.E.K.K.A., he's got his P.E.K.K.A., and his Mega Knight, and his Executioner coming in. I drop a Tombstone. Mega Knight's distracted again, just all confused it's got, get out. I wasted an entire Lightning spell, which was insane. Then his P.E.K.K.A., look at his little P.E.K.K.A. over there. I have nothing, okay? Tombstone saves the flipping day. Comes out of nowhere, able to stop an entire peck. Had no idea a Tombstone was that OP. I should use it more in my life. He wastes a lightning spell at that point on a Lava Hound. So I'm going, I'm pushing another side. I'm gonna zap those bats out of the way. I miss one. So frustrating. He friggin' tornadoes, which is, oh my gosh, so frustrating. Anyway, I'm sitting here, dude. I, Go ahead and I clone the balloon. Neither balloon makes a drop, which I'm like, dude, deliver the package already. Holy crap. Anyway, so he's got a fatty push coming back my way, which we're okay with. Zap the bats, of course. Reset the Inferno Dragon. Able to take the Inferno Dragon out, which kind of helped me quite a bit because he wasn't able to take my Lava Hound down just yet. Stinking Executioner, so OP, but I'm able to get two hounds down. <laughs> That's how fast you cycle in this stinking triple elixir. It's insane. So I got two hounds down, whole bunch of minions, don't need zap. The lava pups are going to take out his bats. And for some reason, I don't think that tornado pulled the balloon quite as far. So I am able to clone that, make some drops, drop off a couple packages, takes the tower all the way down with the pups, all the way down to six. Yep, six health points left on the tower so I'm just sitting chilling whatever you know I have to <laughs> I thought I was gonna zap the tower and I cloned it I'm an idiot anyway so I cloned the tower I'm like if that costs me the game I'm gonna flip out anyway he's got Mega Knight coming in he's got Executioner able to squander that entire push just some things I got so happy was able to get the nine wins let me show you that deck before you open this chest just so you guys can see the deck itself and i'll probably put it in the thumbnail as well and you guys seen it of course in a couple of those shots but it's got the balloon lava hound basically a crazy 4.0 lava loon deck with clone absolutely fun deck i wonder if it'd work on ladder probably not but it was pretty sweet to play within this triple elixir challenge you guys are going to go ahead you guys are going to love that thing Let's get this challenge chest opened. Hopefully we get something pretty sweet. I've been holding on to it for a little bit. So we get some fatty gold, which we're not too upset about. Some skeleton barrels. Hog riders, which I do love, even though they got nerfed. I'm a little sad about that, but it's okay. It's okay. We got some zappies. Of course, we'll take the zappies. Um, I just want some hunters. We got a battle ram, which is sweet. Uh, bats, which is no good. That means I don't get a legendary in this chest, basically. Royal Giants, absolutely wasting my day right now. Guards, mm, okay, no hunters, but we're working through this. Anyway, able to get the nine wins. Go ahead and try that deck out. Super excited for what's to come here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. If you have not subscribed, be sure and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments, likes below. Take it easy and good luck.